And as part of Heritage Days, you can come to one of Wolverhampton's most important buildings. Wolverhampton City Archives holds over 50,000 documents, film, sound recordings and memorabilia. Based in the former Molyneux Hotel, the Grade II star-listed building built in the mid-18th century was restored in 2003 thanks to a Heritage Lottery Fund grant. And this fabulous building was once the home of the Molyneux family. The family originally from France settled in Wolverhampton in 1744. Part of their eight acre site was used to build on in 1889 for Molyneux Stadium, home of Wolverhampton Wanderers. And the house became a hotel until it closed in 1979. And it features not only a Georgian garden, but a Victorian one as well. And it's equally impressive inside the building. On the bottom floor boasts two rooms restored by English Heritage. The oak room features a reproduction fireplace with the famous iron bridge embossed on it and a secret panel. Next to it, the Rococo room. Which has been reproduced from as it originally was uh, when it was put on by the Molyneux family in around about 1740 or 1750. Um, they would have used it as a reception area for visitors um, with the doorway um, there. Um, later, when the building was a hotel, it was the dining room. Um, very little of it survived the fire which destroyed the building in 2002, um, but English Heritage brought in specialists to recreate the room as closely as possible based on photographs that we had in our collections and based on um, little parts of the original um, decorations that survived. Now we're on the, the first floor, which is almost exclusively the public search room areas. This is the map room, um, where we have a lot of um, ordnance survey maps of Wolverhampton, a lot of uh, town plans, uh, street plans. Mm. The Express and Star, as I'm sure you'll know, started in 1884. Mm. Um, so we've got them all on film from 1884. The pages of a book have been photographed, reduced in size, put onto this sheet. And then when you put it on the screen, it just magnifies it um, to the size of the screen. Okay, so this is one of the four um, archive repositories where we actually keep the original archive documents. When they built it, they built it so that we've got expansion space for 40 years. Because obviously we just collect, we never replace or remove. And inside the special storage rooms, temperatures are set between 15 and 20 degrees and equipped with sensitive smoke detection apparatus and gas-based fire suppression systems. The boxes are also um, waterproof for up to 24 hours, so that it sh should there be a fire here, and then a flood because of the fireman's hoses, the boxes will actually protect the, the documents. During our visit, a collection of Beatty's memorabilia arrived. What John has done since then, he's put a false back in there. And that's obviously the original page, which is how it was yesterday, just ripped. Sorts of stuff here, there's photographs of window displays and everything, which obviously what we're now doing is cataloguing all of this. So this is all available for people to, to look at. The popular Wolverhampton Archives tour has already sold out, but you can join them for their next event, a local history fair, on the 12th of October. So you've actually got a heritage building with an organisation now inside it which deals with the history and the heritage of, of the city.